This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. If you want to risk getting close yourself, by all means. It's not really a risk, it's just, I mean, it is a risk. Besides, oh. I don't want to get the wrong guy. Yeah, that would, that would be bad. I guess keep going down this route, find out what we can, and then plan the next move after that. Yeah. If it is him, and we're almost certain that it's him, we'll deal with it. Was it that you were out on the pole flirting with girls? I don't know, it's been a while. Maybe a year or two now. I, I stay active, you know. As you get older, you just, I don't know, you just stop fucking thinking about that shit all the time, you know? So, yeah. I was thinking more back to your partying days, but, uh, you know. Partying days. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, some weekends I could go through maybe three or four of them, you know, quite easily. Yeah, there was always a couple Jesus. of uh, special someones, you know. Anybody in particular that you wish you could, uh, you know, go back and rekindle things with? Maybe things were different? Well, there was this Jessica girl. Oh, God. Uh, Mamma mia, I mean, <laughs> uh, the tits on her. <laughs> I swear to God, you know, but uh, I don't think Mama would have approved. She was an Italian, you know. So, eh. Uh, Maria, there's another one there, too. She was quite the special one. Yeah, very nice lady. Very nice lady. Damn, she's too good for me. I know, I was just... I was a dick to her a little bit, I guess. I never really got to uh, be with her. Except for one time. One time, and... Yeah. That was it. Damn. Damn, seems like an opportunity wasted. I should have been better to her, I think. I wasn't around, I was just taking advantage of my youth, you know, just... God, I didn't want to feel old, settle down, and, you know, I just... But I wanted her around. I don't know if you catch my drift, you're a guy. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you want her around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you don't want her to tie you down just yet. She was really trying to tie me down, you know. So I wouldn't, but she was... She was already married. I lost that fight. So, you know, there's a couple like that, you know. What was his name out of curiosity? I don't know. Wondering who the man who won her over from you was. Been a long time. I can't remember who the fuck the guy is. It's been over like 20 years. Over 20 years. Fuck. Easily. And I, didn't I you mention like a Milo person or something? The fuck you talking about? When did I ever say Milo? <laughs> I, I feel know, like Cosmo's yeah, got selective I'm... hearing. Or just chooses what to hear. Uh, I, I never said Milo. No. I probably misheard. Uh, look, I, I maybe it's his age. I can't remember the maybe. guy. He's uh, that's almost as old as I am. Twenty years was like what? Not 1998 already? When I made my choice, that was it. It's the last time I spoke to her. You know, if I wasn't stupid, she would have tied me down just good. Mama would have loved it. That's for sure. Yeah, this fucking I mean, sucks. Why do I have to think about this shit right now? Uh, all right, I need that's probably the booze. Yeah. Need some fresh air. I'm always looking for women shit. I never want to get tied down. I'm gonna keep going until I can't go no more. Sometimes I'd ask myself, the fuck am I doing? Why don't I get hitched? Find a nice lady like Maria. Live a simple life, but a good life. But instead, I became a fucking don. The hell's wrong with me? I never wanted this. While this usually takes way longer, we were just starting out so we had to move the wheels faster and make some made men, also known as soldados, official members of the familia. You done them already, these three men, and I think they're ready. Are they now? There was Calvin, Marcano, and Kyle. I do think so, yeah. You all been pulling your weight around here? I like to think so. I like to think so, yeah. Calvin, step forward. Take that knife. And I want you to prick your finger till you see a little bit of blood. Don't go crazy. I want you to pass that knife on to uh, Marcano after. Take your pieces out once you're done with the uh, knife and everything. Give the knife back to uh, Jimmy. I want you to put your finger on the trigger. Do not squeeze. The blood represents that you are willing to bleed for this family. You live 
by the gun and a knife, and you die by the gun and a knife. There's a code of honor. Be loyal to this family, no matter the cost. That's number one. Number two, be rational. Be a member of the team. Don't engage in battles you can't win and that can harm this family. Number three, be a man of honor. Have some respect, especially for your higher ranks. Number four, be a stand-up guy. Keep your eyes and ears open and keep your mouth shut. Don't sell out. The stand-up guy shows courage. He doesn't whine or complain in the face of adversity, including punishment. Because if you can't pay, don't play. Number five, have class and be independent. A made man will make things happen to better the family. And number six, <laughs> our own little tweak to it. <laughs> don't yeah. be a chooch. You three men standing before me. You made guys now. You're one of us. <laughs> Salud. Salud. We pulled Cosmo aside since we thought he might need a bit more explaining because, well, it's Cosmo. God bless. I later made Sal Scarpacci. His potential was clear. The man knew what he was doing. He would become one of my biggest earners. This is my brother, the one I mentioned when we met first time already. Louis Scarpacci. Louis Scarpacci, yes. Ah, I remember. Good things I hear. So, uh, Louis, I mean, if you're standing here, I'm guessing you, uh, would like in. Yeah, I, I know what you're going, going on and uh, what you open the bill and uh, I want to be a part of it, you know. Yeah, of course. You got your brother's blood and if he stands behind me right now, it's because he supports me. And I'm looking for guys Absolutely. that will support me just like your brother here. Definitely count me in. Yeah, I'll count you in, but can I count on you? Can. That's good then. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm a loyal guy. Eh, <laughs> there's always a place for everybody. There's always a way. Eh, you pull your weight. You be productive for this family. You do things that make this family go further, higher. And then, well, you go higher and further. See what I'm getting at? So, be productive. All right, Louis? I'm sure you're gonna be okay. Appreciate it. Uh, productivity I can do. <laughs> eh. I promise you that. I later went to Katarina to check in and get a financial report. And how are you today, Katarina? I'm doing all right. Kind of sore from riding all day. I'm checking places out. Yeah. Well, you're doing good. <laughs> you're doing very good. You're doing a little bit more than what I anticipated you would do. But that's a good thing, you know? It shows that you've got that oomph, they all say. Eh? <laughs> I'm a bit of an overachiever. So tell me, uh, I mean, were you raised here? In the Los Santos, uh, what's your story? I want to get to know a little bit more about you. Uh, no, I um, I actually uh, grew up in uh, Liberty City. Oh, you're shitting me. Huh. Yes, no. Nope. Me too. <laughs> I'm from Broker. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice. And what brought you here? Well, uh, my family fell into a bit of hard times. Uh, my mom passed away. And I'm my sorry. dad moved out here for some more business. But uh, I, I don't know what they're doing now. I haven't talked to my family in over a year. Wish I could have had a family of my own. I, I wouldn't treat them like that. I, I don't know. I just I, I never got lucky like that, you know. I spent too much time on my work, I guess, and uh, on me. You know, it just it was easier taking care of myself. I don't know. Family. That's that's something big. When you're lucky enough to have that, you hold it. It was finally done. I had a new home and it was goddamn beautiful. Plenty of space and more luxurious than anything I ever had. It even had a freaking tennis court and a hot tub pool combo. It took a huge chunk of my life savings and a lot of paperwork, but I finally had a place to call home. Not only that, but a home for the familia. The compound, as it would later be referred as. I couldn't believe that this was all mine. But the business, it helped make it happen. I never would have bought this if not for them. But I had no regrets, trust me. But even with having everything I wanted, car, house, business, I still felt empty, out of place. 
and this was far from the last time I would question this. Later, Jimmy and I had a discussion at the house. You see, I just want to sit down with the organizations of this city and understand where they all stand. That's the first step of everything. Yeah, we could do like a uh, very, very big one and eh? like a huge one. Like a we summit. Like, there you uh, go, that's summit. what I'm looking for. Yeah, you hey, a looking summit. For. There you go. And then uh, everybody can be cool. No guns. You gotta understand territory, but uh, I think the people there, you know, like, you know, the Andriachis, I bet they're nice guys. I bet they want to do business and I bet they want to keep what they have. But uh, they gotta realize, you know, amongst all the other people, uh, crime crime families in this town, that uh, when a big player moves in like us, you better start sharing. You know, if we can get everybody on a uh, good equal playing ground here, nobody will fight with each other and we'll have a good time. Yeah. Then all we have yeah. to worry about is the Mancinis. Yeah, them. those Mancinis, I... I don't know, maybe uh, they got the message, you know, with that last guy, Joey. Uh, but, uh, uh yeah. we gotta stay vigilant. Jimmy, uh, these guys are relentless. I, I, well, I know they're doing something, of course. There's, there's Mancini fuckers, you know, I tell you, they got really good fucking hitmen over there. You know, they, they're gonna fucking put it in the ground. You know, they do what they want, and they do it pretty fucking clean. Yeah. So, you know, my fucking bets are that they're scheming over there, but uh, they haven't done nothing yet. I don't, you know, fucking beats me to why they haven't done nothing, but they're yeah. definitely fucking scheming. Yeah, we just gotta keep our eyes and ears open, you know, and make sure that we don't get surprised by these fucking shooters. It's the last thing I want. Uh, good thing you got the upper yeah, hand last time. We just might not be so lucky this time, you know what I mean? And now we're creating a profile for us, a high profile. So they're gonna eventually know where we are, what we're doing, and they might surprise us then. I don't know, I guess we'll see. We'll fucking take them if they come after well, us. Well, that's why we got protection out there, Jimmy. That is why yeah. <laughs> I wanted to start this we'll whole thing. We'll fucking take this going beautiful. We got a people, we got money, we got fucking property. And we got, I mean, basically anything we could ask for is to just hand deliver to us. Yeah. So, uh, I know, you know, I know. what the fuck else do I we know. need? <laughs> There's always going to be something else we're going to need, Jimmy. We wanted to pay a visit at the club in hopes to get a meeting with Andriachi. Our previous attempts in the past two weeks had failed. So we thought a direct visit might help speed things up. So, uh, he's I would presume, uh, you're the Andriachis. Yeah, my, my name is Snow Longwood, actually, oh, and I, I own this place. Ah, I see, I see. It's a wonderful establishment you've got. Yeah, it uh, has been uh, until yeah, recent yeah. events that made me, like like I said, Plus renovate the place a bit. Ah. In the wear and tear. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the renovation and all mm -hmm. that. Uh, I yeah, it's needed once in a while. So yeah. we had one week now where uh, where uh, the club has been closed for the oh, public. Really? And and we're just in yeah. here, and uh, you know we didn't know that. So forgive us for no, that. No, 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 no worries. Uh, that, that's you're not the first. Like there, I tried to put up a sign at the door, but uh, somebody taking is taking it down. Every some time. fucking chooch is doing that to you. Well, if I see them personally, I'll make sure that they fucking know. Eh? Actually, I appreciate that. Eh, of course. But uh, I'm getting married tomorrow, so. Are uh, you? Oh, well, congratulations. Kind of, yeah, thank you very yeah, much. Congrats. So the plan was to have an, uh, you know, a reopening tomorrow, but that kind of crashes with the wedding, so we're postponing it to uh, Sunday. Ah, uh, the wedding it's is much be, more uh, important. Absolutely. So there's going to be a party here on a Sunday with strippers and DJs, bartenders, Ooh. waitresses, everything. Why well, you had me at strippers? <laughs> oh, I did. Did I? You did. It is a titty club, that's for sure. Well, yeah, I know. I come here for the titties. Uh, once in a while there are some, but uh, I was wondering <laughs> what was going on lately. Uh, I appreciate the information. Yeah. There's no way I could uh, meet with Mr. Adriachi, uh, well, the leader of this whole thing. Absolutely. I also talked about to him about that, but uh, he's actually in Italy right now, oh, dealing with some business. He will be back in a few. All right. So, uh, but he uh, he flies over there now and then and uh, take care of family business. Yeah. Stuff like course. that. Yeah. You know, I got my own thing uh, back in Liberty City. You know. But I will absolutely uh, relay the message and say that you want to have a talk with him. Ah, and uh, I'm pretty sure I can uh, either me and him or him can get in talk to contact with you guys. All I right. know we, uh, we hang out. Well, how about I do uh, this? The I'm going to give you yeah. my personal phone number and, uh, you know, feel free to contact me or have him contact me directly at this point. I think it's the right thing to do. Absolutely. All right, let me just reach for a card here. Well, uh, I'll... Uh, Looking forward to uh, okay. contact you okay. when uh, Mr. Andriarch is back. I'm looking forward to it as well. It's very nice meeting you and all your friends here. All right, 
I'll see you around then. The funny thing is that Andriachi was standing there the whole time. Now why would they lie to me? We like to visit bars and clubs from time to time to impose our presence, but also good for business. Not gonna lie, this place this looks like a fucking dump right now. I could have told you that. I was yeah. here like 20 minutes ago. I don't believe we have met. Oh, shit. Uh, fuck. Don Moretti. Uh, Miss Faye Williams. Faye Williams. Don Tony Moretti. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure uh, is all mine. I had a lot about you. Oh, I hope good things. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's good to hear. Well, now we're in a trashy place, so let's get ourselves a trashy drink. The place was pretty quiet, but it had been a long day, and to be frank, we got a little tipsy. Not my proudest moments. Well, shit, it's good you can, uh, you know, get out and have a little bit of fucking fun. <laughs> Even if Jimmy is doing the, uh, what, what was it called? The millennial dance. Yeah, whatever the fuck that is. It's so weird. I'm telling you, this is, pat this is patent pending over here. I'm gonna fucking trademark it. <laughs> <laughs> He's mastering this. The art of douchebag dance. <laughs> Yeah, this God. is my dance. This could do, no, 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 listen, listen. This really, you know, the Vagos, those, uh, those ballers, uh, the, the, the purple gang, they all have gang yeah, symbols, you know, they, they, yeah, they do like the, uh, the, the gang symbols, you know. <laughs> no. That could be our gang symbol. No. That is the gang symbol. It's the gang symbol. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. God, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Am I doing oh it? God, is, no. is this it? Is this it? Oh, wait. Is, am I doing it right? Do I have to pretend I'm I holding no something? Idea. I don't understand <laughs> this. Idea. Oh, God. No idea. Fine, fine, okay, dear God. He's <laughs> <laughs> in here like it's over here. Me. I can't breathe. Oh, no, we, we, no, we, look at him. Oh. We're sick. We know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, oh. Like a it's like we're doing a ritual on this, uh. What is going on <laughs> here? Oh, fuck, uh, oh wait! Oh, that's right ridiculous. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, how you uh -huh. doing, man? Eh? Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh hey. Hey, hey we're just buddy. a little tipsy Sorry, here. Faye, you did not take fucking oh, pictures no, no, of that no. shit. Why don't you drop that? That's not very smart. You uh, want to be careful dropping coke all over the place, eh? Fucking throwing hey. snow all over the place. Hey, huh? hey buddy, uh, you didn't see nothing. We just had a little too much to drink, and we found a, a really good YouTube video. All right? I. What Whoa. the fuck was that shit? What okay, the? That was really my car, someone had fucking died. Car. Better not have been my fucking car. I ain't got no fucking peace either. That's when we saw Jordy handcuffed. And this woman. What the Everybody fuck is this now? Everybody put your hands What's up and face away from me. Whoa, Drop the weapons. Whoa. What are you fucking talking oh, about? What the now, fuck? Now. Drop the weapons and face Jesus away Christ. from me now. Are you a police officer? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? No, I put my. No, 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 no. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck you are? Wait, wait. No, no, no. You better be careful, lady. No, no, no. Turn back to your fucking dog.